Now let's get a look at some national headlines from Haley Minogue. Haley Minogue here in my kitchen bringing you more of today's top headlines. Most of the passengers on two cruise ships that have onboard coronavirus outbreaks are going to be heading home soon. The two Holland America ships were allowed to dock at Port Everglades, Florida on Thursday afternoon. Port officials say about 1,200 passengers who are fit for travel will be taken in private vehicles to Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. From there, they'll be flown home in five separate charter flights that were arranged by the cruise line. Meanwhile, 13 gravely sick passengers and a crew member were hospitalized, and more than two dozen mildly sick passengers will remain on the ships in quarantine for two weeks. The U.S. Navy says it's begun removing healthy sailors from a U.S. aircraft carrier that's had an outbreak of coronavirus. About 180 sailors from the USS Theodore Roosevelt who have tested negative for COVID-19 have been moved to a hotel in Guam. Another 300 to 500 sailors will be moved in the next day. So far, 114 sailors from the aircraft carrier have tested positive for coronavirus. Captain Brett Crozier is no longer commanding officer of the USS Theodore Roosevelt. Earlier this week, the captain wrote a memo warning the Navy that action was needed to save lives on the board. Captain Crozier was relieved of command for going outside the chain of command. Somebody to lean on. Legendary singer Bill Withers has died from heart complications, according to his family. Weathers wrote and sang a string of soulful songs in the 1970s that have stood the test of time, including Lean On Me, Lovely Day, and Ain't No Sunshine. He was 81 years old. Oprah Winfrey is opening her pocketbook to help amid the coronavirus crisis. The billionaire media mogul announced in a video posted to Instagram she's going to donate $10 million to coronavirus relief efforts. $1 million of it is going to go to America's Food Fund, a new initiative helping to feed local communities. Winfrey wasn't specific about how the rest of her donation is going to be spent. Other billionaires have also recently stepped up to help in the fight against COVID-19. Jeff Bezos announced Thursday a $100 million donation to Feeding America, which supports food banks across the country. Bill Gates also gifted $100 million, part of which will go to the World Health Organization and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Kylie Jenner gave $1 million to buy masks. Some big box stores are implementing a customer limit. Costco's two person per card limit starts today. Target is also planning on implementing a visitor limit and Walmart may be considering the idea as well. It's an effort to get people to not shop with their entire family. In Governor Bashir's press conference yesterday, he asked that only one family member shop at a time. There are exceptions for single parents. MSD is reporting some backup in its sewage systems caused by wipes. In a news release, MSD says COVID-19 pandemic triggered a shortage of toilet paper, so now they're seeing more wipes in the wastewater. The department is asking folks to refrain from flushing wipes even if the package says they're flushable. MSD urges residents only to flush the three P's, pee, poo, and toilet paper.